so i just i have picked up a few items which are you know very very uh, common to lot of us and how they affect us so first is the exempt income and all this is at the end of it uh, i have not forgotten the topic it is about documentation so we'll come to the documentation part and uh, this is not about scrutiny but it is about documentation <laughs> but to understand why documentation is important i am taking you through the background we all know that exempt income is something on which we do not pay tax income tax the onus is on us to prove that uh, what i have earned is actually exempt from tax and therefore the question that arises is how do you do this how do you prove that what you have got is actually dividend income what you have got is actually long term capital gains or whatever it is you know and another important point is you need you need to so many people feel that uh, and this is a very common misconception that i have say for example interest on ppf i have got 20 30 lakhs in my ppf and i am getting about 8% so 1 lakh 60 50 whatever it is i get that interest on ppf i get dividend income from shares i get dividend from mutual funds but all that is tax free so i don't need to show it to anyone so many people don't even tell their ca or the tax consultant that i have earned x amount of rupees from uh, from dividend or from you know whatever it is we have to show this exempt income in our itr form in our income tax return so i'll just show you the snapshot of an it actual itr form schedule ei details of exempt income into brackets income not to be included in the total income first item interest second item dividend so very clearly the itr form has a field for uh, for disclosing not only your taxable income but your exempt income also another interesting item which i thought i would highlight although it is not very material is others including exempt income of minor child i don't know how many people have got you know minor children in whose name they you know all the relatives have been extremely generous and have been giving lakhs of rupees as gifts every year that money is invested in bank fds and generating income or put in you know wherever else you know partnership firm etc generating income how many of them have shown that income of the minor kid in their own hands as per law if the minor child earns income which has nothing to do with the uh, with the talent you know inborn talent of that kid so for example uh, we have so many shows on tv where the singing and dancing competitions are there and if a, a child goes there and wins some prize over there that income would not get clubbed with the parents income but other than that any income which arises to a, uh, to a minor child has to be clubbed in the hands of the one of the parents common uh, thing which is overlooked by people but there is a exemption of a princely sum of 1500 rupees per annum per child in respect of clubbed income of the minor kid so if you have say two minor children both of them have earned interest of 10 10000 each bank interest for example so that 20000 has to be included but 1500 per child so 3000 is exempt so that 3000 should be reflected over here and balance 17000 should be included in the taxable income part so this the, the point of showing this slide is that we have to disclose this in the return it, it you cannot get away from the fact and say that it is exempt therefore i have not shown it it is exempt therefore you have to show it it's the other way around you know 